The Hyundai Kona Hybrid, a family-friendly SUV with a spacious interior, but not the best option for enthusiastic drivers. The first-generation Kona was a popular choice among UK buyers, with over 65,000 units sold since its launch in 2017. Now, the new Kona is larger, with a funky design featuring LED lighting that gives it a unique and somewhat menacing look, measuring at 4,355mm in length. The new Kona is 170 mm longer than its predecessor, providing more space for passengers and cargo. The range includes hybrid petrol and fully electric models, with prices starting at £25,725 for the 1.0-liter 118 brake horsepower advance, and going up to £34,225 for the 1.6-liter 139 brake horsepower hybrid ultimate tested in this review. Inside, the Kona feels like a larger car than before, with comfortable front seats and a well-designed center console. However, some of the trim materials feel cheap and unpleasant to the touch. The rear seats offer ample space for passengers, with enough legroom and headroom for taller individuals. The boot is also generous, with 466 liters of space with the seats up and 1,300 liters with them folded. The dashboard features a curved glass screen divided into two 12.3-inch parts, serving as the instrument binnacle and center touchscreen. While the graphics are clear and attractive, navigating the touchscreen menus can be distracting and time-consuming while driving. The Kona also comes with Hyundai's latest safety suite, including camera and radar monitoring, automatic braking, and lane-keeping systems. However, the lane-keeping system can be overly intrusive and switching it off is complicated. On the road, the Kona's hybrid electric drive provides a boost of power when accelerating, but the tires can lose grip easily in wet conditions. The drivetrain feels responsive and agile, and the steering and brakes offer good control. The ride quality is decent, although the suspension can be a bit harsh over rough surfaces. In terms of fuel economy, the Kona performs best on suburban roads, where regenerative braking can help recharge the battery. In real-world testing, the Kona achieved 52 miles per gallon, compared to Hyundai's claim of 60.1 miles per gallon. However, on motorways, the consumption dropped to the mid-40s. Overall, the Hyundai Kona Hybrid offers value for growing families who prioritize passenger and luggage space. However, for keen drivers, there are better options available in this segment, such as Ford's offering or the Citroën C5. While Hyundai has made improvements to the Kona, it falls short of being a standout choice. With a three-star rating out of five, the Kona Hybrid is a competitive contender, but not the top choice in its class. So, if you're looking for a spacious and practical SUV, the Hyundai Kona Hybrid could be worth considering. But if you're a driving enthusiast, you might want to explore other options in this highly competitive market segment. The choice is yours.